ओम भूर्भुवस्वितुर्वरेण्यम भर्गो दीम धियो नचोदया ओम शांति 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 नमस्ते माई डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज वीडियो नंबर थर्टी टू ऑन गॉस्पेल ऑफ श्री रामकृष्ण परमहंसा दिस वीडियो स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर नंबर थर्टी द मास्टर इन वेरियस मूड्स थर्सडे ऑक्टोबर टू एटीन हंड्रेड एटी फोर Sri Ramakrishna was sitting in his room at Dakshineswar, Latu, Ramlal, Haris, and Hazra were living with him at the temple garden. Babu Ram spent a day or two with him now and then. Manindal Malik, Priya Mukherjee, and his relative Hari. a bearded brahmin devotee from shivpur and several marwari devotees from calcutta were in the master's room mani lal was an old member of the brahmin smart master to mani lal and others it is wise to salute a person mentally what need is the rock touching his feet mental salutation doesn't embrace anybody the attitude that my religion alone is right and all other religions are false is not good i see that god himself has become all these men images and salagram i see one alone in all these i do not see two i see only one many people think that their opinion alone is right and others opinions are wrong that they alone have won and others have lost but a person who has gone forward may be detained by some slight obstacle and someone who has been lagging behind may then still a march on him in the game of golok dham one may advance a great deal but still somehow one's piece may fail to reach the goal inscrutability of god's ways triumph or defeat is in the hands of god we cannot understand his ways you must have noticed that the green coconut remains high in the tree and is exposed to the sun but still its milk is cool on the other hand the pani phal remains in the water but when eaten it heats the body look at the body of man the head is the root and it is at the top two ways of yoga manilal what then is our duty master to remain somehow united with god there are two ways karma yoga and mano yoga householders practice yoga through karma the performance of duty there are four stages of life brahmacharya grihastha van prastha and sanyas sanyasis must renounce those karmas which are performed with special ends in view but they should perform the daily obligatory karmas giving up all desire for results sanyasis are united with god by such karmas as the acceptance of the staff the receiving of alms going on pilgrimages and the performance of worship and japa it doesn't matter 
what kind of action you are engaged in. You can be united with God through any action provided that performing it you give up all desire for its result. There is the other path, Mano Yoga. A yogi practicing this discipline doesn't show any outward sign. He is inwardly united with God. Take Jada Bharta and Sukhdeva for instance. There are many other yogis of this class, but these two are well known. They save neither hair nor beard. All actions drop away when a god, when a man reaches the stage of the Pramhansa. He always remembers the ideal and meditates on it. He is always united with God in his mind. If he ever performs an action, it is to teach man. A man may be united with God either through action or through inwardness of thought, but he can know everything through bhakti. Through bhakti, one spontaneously experiences kumbhaka, the nerve currents and breathing calm down when the mind is concentrated. Again, the mind is concentrated when the nerve currents are breathing calm down. Then the buddhi, the discriminating power, becomes steady. The man who achieves this state is not himself aware of it. Efficacy of Bhakti Yoga One can attain everything through Bhakti Yoga. I wept before the mother and prayed, O oh mother, please tell me, please reveal to me what the yogis have realized through yoga and the jnanis through discrimination. And the mother has revealed everything to me. She reveals everything if the devotees cry to her with a yearning heart. She has shown me everything that is in the Vedas, the Vedanta, the Puranas, and the Tantra. Manilal, and what about Hatha Yoga? Master, the Hatha Yogis identify themselves with their bodies. They practice internal washing and similar disciplines and devote themselves only to the care of the body. Their ideal is to increase longevity. They serve the body day and night. That is not good. Householder's duty. What is your duty? You should renounce women and gold mentally. You cannot look on the world as crow droppings. The Goswamis are householders. Therefore I said to them, you have your duties in the temple. How can you renounce the world? You cannot explain away the world as Mala. Chaitanya Deva said that the duties of householders were kindness to living beings, service to the Vaishnavas and the chanting of God's holy name. Case of Saint once said about me, now he asks us to hold to both God and the world, but one day he will sting us. No, that is not true. Why should I sting? Mani Malik, but sir, you do. Master smiling, how so? You are a householder, why should you renounce? Complete renunciation for religious teachers. But the renunciation of the world is needful for those whom God wants to be teachers of man. 
one who is an Acharya should give up women and gold, otherwise people will not take his advice. It is not enough for him to renounce only mentally, he should also renounce outwardly. Only then will his teaching bear fruit, otherwise people will think though he asks us to give up women and gold, he enjoys them himself in secret. A physician prescribed medicine for a patient and said to him, come another day and I will give you directions about diet. The physician had several jars of molasses in his room that day. The patient lived very far away. He visited the physician later and the physician said to him, Be careful about your food. It is not good for you to eat molasses. After the patient left, another person who was there said to the physician, Why did you give him all the trouble of coming here again? You could very well have given him the instructions the first day. The physician replied with a, with a smile, there is a reason. I had several jars of molasses in my room that day. If I had asked the patient then to give up molasses, he would not have had faith in my word. He would have thought, he has so many jars of molasses in his room, he must eat some of it. Then molasses can't be so bad. Today I have hidden the jars, now he will have faith in my words. I have seen the Acharya of Adi Brahmo's mouth. I understand that he has married for the second or third time. He has grown up children and such men are teachers. If they say God is real and all else illusory, who will believe them? You can very well understand who will be their disciple. Hard rules for a sannyasi. Like teachers, like disciple. Even if a sannyasi renounces women and gold mentally, but lives with them outwardly, he cannot be a teacher of man. People will say that he enjoys molasses secretly. Once Mahendra Kaviraj of Sinthi gave five rupees to Ramlal. I did not know about it. When Ramlal told me about the money, I asked him, for whom was the money given. He said, it was for me. At first, I thought that I should use it to pay what I owed for my milk. But will you believe me, I had slept only a little while when I suddenly woke up, breathing with pain as if a cat were scratching my chest. I went to Ramlal and asked him again, was the money given for your aunt? No, Ramlal answered. Thereupon I said to him, go at once and return the money. Ramlal gave it back the next day. Do you know how it looks for a sannyasi to accept money? or to be attached to an object of temptation. It is as if a Brahmin widow who had practiced continence and lived on simple boiled rice and vegetables and milk for many years were suddenly to accept an untouchable as her paramour or look stunned. There was a low caste woman named Bhagi Teli in our part of the country. She had many disciples 
and devotees finding that she is shudra was being saluted by people the land lord became jealous and engaged a wicked man to tempt her he succeeded in corrupting her and all her spiritual practice came to nothing a fallen sanyasi is like that you are leading householders lives it is necessary for you to live in the company of holy man first of all the company of holy man then sarbha faith in god how can people have reverence and faith in god if the holy man do not sing his name and glories people respect a man if they know that in his family they have been royal ministers for three generations to m even if one has attained knowledge one must still constantly practice god consciousness nangata used to say what is the use of polishing the outside of a metal pot one day only if you don't polish it regularly it will get tarnished again i shall have to go to your house sometime if i know your house i can meet other devotees there please go to see ishan sometime to manilal kesab sen's mother came here the other day the young boys of her family sang the name of hari she went around them clapping her hands i noticed she was not very much stricken with grief over kesab's death she observed the fast of ekadashi here and counted her beads i was pleased to see her devotion to god about kesab and vijay manilal ramakant sen kesab babu's grandfather was a devotee of god he used to sit in a tulsi grove and repeat god's holy name pyari mohan kesab's father was also a vaishnava devotee master the son could not have been so devoted to god if the father had not been like that look at vijay his father would become unconscious of the world in divine ecstasy while reading the bhagavata vijay can hardly control his emotion while uttering hari's name he sometimes stand up from his seat the forms of god that vijay sees nowadays are all real speaking about the different aspects of god formless and with the form vijay said that god sometimes appears with attributes and sometimes without attributes he gave the examples of the chameleon which sometimes turn red sometimes blue sometimes green and sometimes remain colorless praise of jailessness and purity vijay is really jailless when cannot realize god without being jailless and liberal minded yesterday vijay was at the other saint's house he behaved as if it were his own place and those who lived there his own people then the master saying you will attain that priceless treasure when your mind is free from stain he continued you cannot make a pot without first carefully preparing the clay the pot will crack if the clay contains particles of sand or stone that's why the potter first prepares the clay by removing the sand and stones if a mirror is covered with dirt it won't 
reflect one's face. A man cannot realize his true self unless his heart is pure. You will find childlessness wherever God incarnates himself as man. Nanda Ghosh, Dasartha Vasudeva, all of them were childless. The Vedanta says that a man does not even desire to know God unless he has a pure mind. One cannot be childless and liberal minded without much tapasya or unless it is one's last birth. Master's childlessness. Sri Ramakrishna was worrying like a child because he thought his legs were slightly swollen. Mahendra Kaviraj of Sinti entered the room and saluted the master. Master to the devotees. Yesterday I said to Narain, just press your leg and see if there is any dimple. He pressed it and there was one when I gave a sigh of relief to Mukherjee. Will you please press your leg? Is there any dimple? Mukherjee, yes sir. Master, ah, what a relief. Mani Malik, why should you worry about it, sir? Please take your bath in the river. Why should you take medicine? Master, no sir, you have strong blood. Your case is different. The Divine Mother has placed me in the state of a child. One day I was beaten by something in the jungle. I had heard people say that in case of snake bite, the poison would come out if the snake bit again. So I put my hand in a hole and waited. A man passing said to me, what are you doing? You will get rid of the poison only if the snake bites again in the same place. You will not be cured if the snake bites another part of your body. I was told that the autumn dew was good. One day while coming from Calcutta, I stuck my head out of the carriage and exposed it to the damp air or love to Mahendra of Sinti. That Pandit from Sinti is very good. He holds a title for his scholarship. He respects me. I said to him, you have read a great deal, but give up the vanity that you are a scholar. That made him very happy. I discussed Vedanta with him. Nature of Brahma to M. That which is pure Atma is unattached. Maya or Avidya. Is in it. In Maya there are three Gunas Sattva, Rajas, and Tamas. These three Gunas. Are exist in the pure Atma, but Atma itself is unattached. If you throw a blue pill into the fire, you will see a blue flame. If you throw a red pill, you will see a red flame. But fire itself has no color of its own. If you put a blue pill in water, the water will turn blue. Again, if you put alum in that water, it will regain its natural color. A butcher was carrying a load of meat when he touched a Sankara. Sankara exclaimed, What? You have touched me. The butcher replied, Venerable sir, neither have you touched me, nor have I touched you. You are pure Atma, unattached. Jada Bharta said the same thing to King Rahugana. The pure Atma is unattached and one cannot see it. If salt is mixed with water, 
one cannot see the salt with the eyes. That which is the pure Atma is the great cause, the cause of the cause, the gross, the subtle and causal and the great cause. The five elements are gross, mind, buddhi and ego are subtle. Perkerpi, the primal energy is the cause of all these. Brahma, pure Atma is the cause of the cause. This pure Atma alone is our real nature. What is Jnana? It is to know one's own self and keep the mind in it. It is to know the pure Atma. How long should a man perform his duties? As long as he identifies himself with the body, in other words, as long as he thinks he is the body, that is what the Gita says. To think of the body as the Atma is a jnana, ignorance. To be to the bearded Brahmo devotee from Sipur, are you a Brahmo devotee? Yes, sir. Master, smiling. I can recognize a worshipper of the formless by looking at his face and eyes. Please dive a little deeper. One doesn't get the gem by floating on the surface. As for myself, I accept all the formless God and God with form. The Marwari devotees from Bra Bazar entered the room and saluted the Master. He began to praise them. Master, to the devotees. Ah, they are real devotees of God. They visit temples, sing hymns to God and eat parsad. And the gentleman whom they have made their priest this year is learned in the Bhagavata. Marwari devotee, who is this I that says, O Lord, I am thy servant? Master, this is the Linga Srira or embodied soul. It consists of Manas, Buddhi, Chitta and Ahankara. Devotee, who is the embodied soul? Master, it is the Atma bound by the eight fetters. And what is the Chitta? It is the I consciousness that says Aha. What happens after death, devotee? Rever, sir, what happens after death? Master, according to the Gita, one becomes afterwards what one thinks of at the time of death. King Bharata thought of his dear and became a dear in his next life. Therefore, one must practice sadhana in order to realize God. If a man thinks of God day and night, he will have the same thought in the hour of death. Maya hides knowledge. Devotee, why don't we feel dispassion towards worldly objects? Master, because of Maya, through Maya one feels the real to be the unreal and the unreal to be the real. The real means that which is eternal, the supreme Brahma, and the unreal means that which is non-eternal, that is to say the world. Devotee, we read the scriptures why is it that we cannot assimilate them? Master, what will one accomplish by mere reading? One needs spiritual practice, austerity, call on God. What is the use of merely repeating the word Siddhi? One must eat a little of it. The hand bleeds when it touches a thorny plant. 
Suppose you bring such a plant and repeat sitting near it, there the plant is burning. Will that burn the plant? This world is like the thorny plant. Light the fire of knowledge and with it set the plant ablaze. Only then it will be burnt up. One must labor a little while at the stage of sadhana. Then the path becomes easy. Steer the steer the boat around the curves of the river and then let it go with the favorable wind. As long as you live inside the house of Mala, as long as there exists the cloud of Mala, you do not see the effect of sun of knowledge. Come outside the house of Mala, give up women and gold, and then the sun of knowledge will destroy ignorance. A lens cannot burn paper inside the house. If you stand outside, then the rays of the sun fall on the lens and the paper burns. Again, the lens cannot burn the paper if there is a cloud. The paper burns when the cloud disappears. The darkness of the mind is destroyed only when a man stands little apart from women and gold and thus standing apart practices a little austerity and spiritual discipline the only then only does the cloud of his ego and ignorance vanish then only does he attain the knowledge of God. This woman and gold is the only cloud that hides the sun of knowledge. Master's Renunciation to the Marwari Devotee The rules for sannyasi are extremely hard. He cannot have the slightest contact with woman and gold. He must not accept money with his own hands, and he must not even allow it to be left near him. Lakshmi Narayan Marwari, a Vedantist, used to come here very often. One day he saw a dirty seat on my bed and said, I shall invest 10,000 rupees in your name. The interest will enable you to pay your expenses. The moment he uttered these words, I fell unconscious, as if struck by a stick. Regaining consciousness, I said to him, If you utter such words again, you had better not to come here. It is impossible for me to touch money. It is also impossible for me to keep it near me. He was a very clever fellow. He said, then you two have the idea of acceptance and rejection. In that case, you have not attained perfect knowledge. My dear sir, I said, I have not yet gone that far. Oh, love. Lakshmi Narayan then wanted to leave the money with her there. I said to him, that will not do. If you leave it with her there, then I shall instruct him to spend it as I wish. If he does not comply, I shall be angry. The very contact of money is bad. No, you cannot leave it with her there. Want an object keep near a mirror be reflected in it. Liberation, devotee, Rever sir, is a man liberated only when he dies on the bank of the Ganges master. It is the knowledge of God alone that gives liberation. The Gyani will certainly attain liberation 
wherever he may die, whether in the charnel pit or on the bank of the Ganges. But the bank of the Ganges is prescribed for a bound soul. Devotee, Reverend Sir, why does a man dying in Banaras becomes liberated? Master, a person dying in Banaras sees the vision of Shiva. Shiva says to him, this is my aspect with form, my embodiment in Maya. I assume this form for the sake of the devotees. Now look, I am merging in the indivisible Satpachitananda. Uttering these words, Shiva withdraws his form and enables the dying person to see Brahma. The Puranas say that even a Chandala endowed with love of God achieves liberation. According to this school, the name of God is enough to liberate a soul. There is no need of such things as worship, sacrifice, the discipline of Tantra, and the recitation of mantras. Path of Devotion for Kali Yuga But the teachings of the Vedas are different. According to the Vedas, none but a Brahmin can be liberated. Further, the worship is not accepted by the gods unless the mantras are recited correctly. One must perform sacrifice, worship, and so on, according to scriptural injunction. But where is the time in the Kali Yuga to perform the Vedic rituals? Therefore, in the Kali Yuga, the path of devotion prescribed by Narda is best. The path of karma is very difficult. Karma becomes a cause of bondage unless it is performed in a spirit of detachment. Further, the life of man nowadays depends on food. He has no time to observe the rituals enjoined by the scriptures. The patient dies if he tries to cure his fever by taking the decoction of herbs prescribed by the orthodox native physicians. Therefore, he should take a modern fever mixture. According to Narda, the devotee should sing the name and glories of God. The path of karma is not the right one for the Kali Yuga. Bhakti Yoga is the right path. Do your duties in the world as long as you need them to reap the fruit of the actions of your past lives. But you must develop love for God and is passionately attached to Him. The singing of the name and the glories of God destroys the effect of past action. You don't have to perform duties all your life. As you develop unalloyed love and longing for God, your duties become fever and fever. Fewer and fewer. After the realization of God, the complete drop away. When the young daughter-in-law is pregnant, her mother-in-law lessens her duties. After the birth of the child, she doesn't have to do any household work. Several young men from the village of Dakshineswar entered the room and saluted Sri Ramakrishna. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon. They sat down and began to talk with the master. Young man, sir, what is knowledge? Master, it is to know that God is the only reality 
and that all else is unreal. That which is the real is also called Brahma. It has another name, Kala. Time, there is a saying, O oh brother, how many things come into being in time and disappear in time. That which sports with Kala is called Kali. She is the primal energy. Kala and Kali, Dharma and Shakti are indivisible. That Brahma of the nature of reality is eternal. It exists in past, present and future. It is without beginning or end. It cannot be described in words. The utmost that can be said of Brahma is that it is of the very nature of intelligence and bliss. The world is illusory. Brahma alone is real. The world is of the nature of magic. The magician is real, but his magic is unreal. Power of inborn tendencies. Young men, if the world is of the nature of illusion, magic, then why doesn't one get rid of it? Master, it is due to the sanskaras, inborn tendencies, repeated births in this world of Maya make one believe that Maya is real. Let me tell you how powerful inborn tendencies are. A prince had in a previous birth been the son of a washerman. While playing with his chums in his incarnation as the prince, he said to them, Stop those games. I will show you a new one. I shall lie on my belly and you will beat the clothes on my back as the washerman does, making a swishing sound. Many youngsters come here, but only a few long for God. These few are born with a spiritual tendency. They shudder at the talk of marriage. Niranjan has said from boyhood that he will not marry. More than 20 years ago, two young men used to come here from Badanagar. One was named Govinda Pal and the other Gopal Sen. They had been devoted to God since boyhood. The very mention of marriage would frighten them. Gopal used to have Bhava Smadi. He would shrink from worldly people as a mouse from a cat. One day he saw the boys of the Tagore family strolling in the garden. He shut himself in the kutti lest he should have a talk with them. Gopal went into Smadi in the Panchavati. In what in that state he said to me, Touching my feet, let me go. I cannot live in this world anymore. You have a long time to wait. Let me go. I said to him in an ecstatic mood, You must come again. Very well, I will. He said. A few days later, Govinda came to me. Where is Gopal? I asked him. He said he has passed away. What are the other youngsters about? Money, house, carries clothes, and finally marriage. These are the things that keep them busy. If they want to marry at the outset, outset they make inquiries about the girl. They want to find out for themselves whether she is beautiful. There is a person who speaks much ill of me. He is always criticizing me for loving the youngsters. 
I love only those who are born with good tendencies. Pure souls with longing for God who do not pay any attention to money, creatures, comforts and such things. If married people develop love for God, they will not be attached to the world. Hirananda is married. What if he is? He will not be much attached to the world. Hirananda, a member of the Brahmo Smas, was a native of Sindh. He had met the master in Calcutta and become devoted to him. Manilal, the Marwadi devotee, Manilal, the Marwadi devotees, the Brahmo devotees from Sibapur, and the young man from Dakshineswar saluted Sri Ramakrishna and took their leave. Manilal, the Marwadi devotees, the Brahmo devotees from Sipur and the young men from Dakshineswar saluted Sri Ramakrishna and took their leave. It was evening. Lamps were lighted on the south and west verandas. A lamp was lighted in the master's room also and the incense was burnt. He was repeating the name of the Divine Mother, absorbed in contemplation of her. <coughs> After a while he talked again to the devotees, there was still some time before the evening worship in the temples. Master to M. What need of the Sandha has a man who thinks of God day and night? What need of rituals has a man? What need of devotions any more? If he repeats the mother's name at the three holy hours, rituals may pursue him close, but never can they overtake him. Charity, woes, and giving of gifts do not appeal to mother's mind. The blissful mother's lotus feet are his only prayer and sacrifice. The Sandhya merges in the Gayatri, the Gayatri in Om. A man is firmly established in spiritual life when he goes into Samadhi on uttering Om only once. There is a sadhu in Hirsi case who gets up early in the morning and stands near a great waterfall. He looks at it the whole day and says to God, Ah, you have done very well. Well done, how amazing. He doesn't practice any other form of japa or austerity. At night he returns to his hut. What need is there even to bother one's had about whether God is formless or has a form. It is enough for a man to pray to Him, alone in solitude, solitude weeping, O oh God, reveal Yourself to me as You are. God is both inside and outside. It is He who dwells inside us. Therefore the Vedas say, Tattvamasi, that thou art. God is also outside us. He appears manifold through Maya, but in reality He alone exists. Therefore, before describing the various names and forms of God, one should say Om Tat Sat. It is only, it is one thing to learn about God from the scriptures and quite another to see Him. The scriptures only give hints. Therefore, to read a great many 
sleep charge is not necessary it is much better to pray to god in solitude it is not necessary to read all of the gita one can get the essence of the gita by repeating the word 10 times it becomes reversed and is then tagi the essence of the book is o man renounce everything and worship god the master went into an ecstatic mood while watching the evening worship of kali in the company of devotees he was in no condition even to salute the image very carefully he returned to his room with the devotees and sat down he was still in an ecstatic mood he spoke to them while in that state in the room was hari a young man about 20 years of age who was a relative of the mukherjee's and very much devoted to the master he was married at the time he was living with the mukherjee's and looking for a job master to hari in an ecstatic mood take your initiation after getting your mother's permission to priya referring to hari i could not give him the mantra though i said i would initiate him i don't initiate people continue with your own meditation and japa as you have been doing priya yes sir master and i am saying this to you in this state of my mind believe my words you see there is no show or deceit here i just said to the divine mother in my ecstatic mood oh mother may those who come here referring to himself through sincere attest attraction obtain perfection mahendra kaviraj of sindhi was seated on the veranda conversing with ramlal hazra and others the master called to him from his room and went out quickly and brought Ra- and brought mahendra in master to mahendra sit down and listen to my words mahendra was a little embarrassed he sat down various forms of divine love master to the devotees god can be served in different ways an ecstatic lover of god enjoys him in different ways sometimes he says oh god you are the lotus and i am the bee and sometimes you are the ocean of satchitananda and i am the fish sometimes again the lover of god says i am your dancing girl he dances and sings before him he thinks of himself sometimes as the friend of god and sometimes as his handmaid he looks on god sometimes as a child as did yasoda and sometimes as the husband or sweetheart as did the gopis sometimes balrama looked on krishna as a friend sometimes he would think he was krishna's umbrella or carpet he served krishna in all possible ways was sri rama krishna hinting at his own state of mind while thus describing the different attitudes of a lover of god chaitanya's spiritual moods next he described chaitanya's three spiritual moods master chaitanya deva used to experience three moods in the mo- in in the in most mood he would be absorbed in samadhi unconscious of the outer world in the semi conscious mood he would dance in ecstasy but could not talk in the conscious mood he would sing the glories of god 
to the devotees you are listening to my words try to assimilate them when world worldly people sit before a sadhu for the time being they completely hide all worldly thoughts and ideas but once away from the holy man they let them out again you have seen a pigeon eating dried peas you think he has digested them but he keeps them in his crop you can feel them there at dusk put aside all duties and pray to god one is reminded of him by darkness at the approach of darkness one thinks i could see everything a moment ago who has brought about this change the muslims put aside all activities and say their prayers at the appointed time practice of japa mukherji rabbar sir is it good to practice japa master yes once attains god through japa by repeating the name of god secretly and in solitude one receives divine grace then comes his vision suppose there is a big piece of timber lying under water and fastened to the land with a chain by proceeding along the chain link by link you will at last touch the timber higher than worship is japa higher than japa is meditation higher than meditation is bhava and higher than bhava are mahabhava and prema chaitanya deva and had prema when one attains prema one has the rope to tie god hadra entered the room master to hadra love of god when it is intense and spontaneous is called raga bhakti vaidhi bhakti formal devotion depends on scriptural scriptural injunctions it comes and it goes but raga bhakti is like a stone and lamp of shiva that has sprung up out of the bowels of the earth one cannot find its root they say the root goes as far as banaras only an incarnation of god and his companions attain raga bhakti hazra ah me master one day i was returning from the pine grove when i saw you telling your beads i said to the divine mother mother what a small minded fellow he is he lives here and still he practices japa with a rosary whoever comes he, he referring to himself will have his spiritual consciousness awakened all <coughs> events he would not have to bother much about japa go to calcutta and you will find thousands telling their beads even the prostitutes <coughs> to m please bring narain here in a carriage i am making the same request to mukherjee i shall give narain something to eat when he comes there is great significance in feeding boys like him Saturday October 4 1884 It was the day of the first full moon after the Durga Puja Sri Ramakrishna arrived at the Calcutta house of Nabin Sen the elder brother of 
Keshava Chandrasen. On the previous Thursday, Keshav's mother had begged the master to pay her a visit in Calcutta. The master seated himself in a room on the upper floor of the house. With him were Baburam, Kishori, and a few other devotees. Nandlal and Kesav's other nephews, Kesav's mother and other relatives of his waited on the master. It had been arranged to have devotional music performed in the room. M was sitting in a room downstairs listening to the Kirtan. Master with Brahmo devotees. Sri Ramakrishna said to the Brahmo devotees, The world is impermanent. One should constantly remember death. Then he sang, Remember this, O mind, no body is your own. When is your wandering in this world? Trapped in the subtle snare of Maya as you are. Do not forget the mother's name. The master said to the devotees, Dive deep. What will you gain by merely floating on the surface? Renounce everything for a few days. Retire into solitude and call on God with all your soul. The master sang, Dive deep, O mind, dive deep in the ocean of God's beauty. If you descend to the uttermost depth, there you will find the gem of love. At Sri Ramakrishna's request, the Brahma devotees sang, Thou art my all in all, O Lord, the life of my life, the essence of essence. In the three worlds I have none else but thee to call my own. Thou art my peace, my joy, my hope. Thou my sport, my wealth, my glory. Thou my wisdom and my strength. The Master saying again, O Mother, for Yasoda thou wouldst dance when she called thee her precious blue jewel. Where hast thou hidden that lovely form, O terrible Shama? The Brahmo devotees also sang to the accompaniment of cymbals and drums. O Mother, how deep is thy love for man, mindful of it, I weep for joy, almost from the day of my birth, I have transgressed thine every law, and still thou lookest on me with love, comforting me with sweetest words, mindful of it, I weep for joy, O Mother, the burden of the love is far too great for me to bear. My soul gives a heart-piercing cry at thy love's touch. To thee I come, seeking a refuge at thy feet. The again saying of the Divine Mother, O Mother, thou my inner guide ever awake within my heart, day and night thou holdest me in thy lap. Why dost thou show such tenderness to this unworthy child of thine? Ah, it seems thou art mad with love, now caressing, now caressing, now with strong grass holding me firm. Thou givest me to drink, thou nectar pouring in my ears, thy words of loving tenderness, unceasing is thy love for me, a love that cannot see my faults. Whenever I am in danger, thou dost save me, 
Savior of sinners, I know the truth. I am my mother and she is mine. Now I shall listen to her alone. At this point I conclude this video. Next video number 33 will start with the chapter number 30. Thank you. Namaskar. Oh. Oh, ah, 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 no. The Carval and Napoleon excited put the Catanas Munta Carvade. Archibald, you want them with Nicophon. They is a decca.